Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn to Speak with Mahesh. I guess everybody is heading towards the weekend. Uh, uh, if you are a person who takes care of the infrastructure, maybe like a DevOps, an operation guy in your organization in GCP, I guess you would have forgotten something to do in your GCP console. What is that? Let's see in action. Usually if you are a DevOps guy or an operation guy in your organization who takes care about GCP and all, if you have lots of VMs and these VMs are not going to be used, you basically may have a script or you may manually go and stop the VM on Friday and you may start it back on Monday. So that's something which people do uh, regularly. I have seen it. And if there are, uh, and there are a few, uh, teams who have done some automations uh, using cloud functions, lots of stuffs, cloud functions, cloud scheduler, and they could have automated this. Uh, but if you fall under the category of the first set of people who manually go into it, good news for you people. There is a feature called as scheduling VM instance to start and stop uh, automatically. You don't need to write any script, no cloud functions, no sh cloud scheduler. So let me show you how I do that. So I have a project where nothing has been configured. So I'm just going to create a VM just uh, in front of you just to show how things works. By the time this comes up, let me also reconnect. So I'm just going to give a name called as uh, Weekend Demo and I'll put it in Singapore A zone and I'll make it as the smallest VM as usual. Standard stuff, nothing different. So that's it. Go ahead and create a VM. So the VM should get created in 30 seconds. Uh, that's the beauty of GCP. So once it comes up, you will see a new feature folks called as instance scheduler, instance schedule tab. So you can configure this tab. So either here in this tab is possible or you can create it here. Either way it is going to be working. So let me just refresh it. The, the VM is up. Now let me go to the scheduler. Okay, this is the one which I was trying it out. Let me just delete it out. Okay, so there's nothing. So let me create a schedule. So give a name to your schedule. Start, stop, VMs, uh, VM in Singapore. Because I'm going to use that region. And this works in a specific region. You have to select the region specifically. Uh, so I'm going to choose Singapore. So I want to start it every day at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and stop it at, uh, say for example, what's the time uh, for me now? So it's going to be uh, 9 9.40, 9 I'll make it something like 9.55 should be good enough. So by the time I fix all the stuffs, it should work. So in the zone, I'm going to use it as, so please don't get confused with the region and the zone. Okay. So the region is I have VMs in Singapore, but I want to stop and start using uh, IST time. So that's the stuff which I wanted to do. And I'm just going to leave these things as uh, default. It's going to run immediately. Frequency every day I want to do it or uh, weekly. So I wanted to show you that right now. So I'm just going to put it as repeat uh, daily. Good. So now I have the schedule. Now what VM you have to shut down is something which you need to do. So for that, if you click on this, it's going to give you an option. Basically, I have to do this demo in next five minutes uh, quickly. So you have to add the instance. So let me click on add instance to schedule. So select this VM, which we just provisioned. Click on add. When I click on add, it tries to show me a message that this user, the service account does not have start and stop permission. So let me just copy this. Go to my IAM and see whether uh, I can check what is the role this service account has. So I just copy that service account, paste it, hit enter. You may not get it because Google has stopped showing this directly. So you have to click on this one, Google manage uh, roles. 
it shows the role which it has is only compute engine uh, compute engine service agent so you need to have a role which can stop and stop stop and start basically you can create a custom role if you want or if you want let me see what's the time I have do I have time yeah I have four minutes I can definitely create a custom role so two roles is what you need to have basically I'm going to create a role uh, call it as sorry call it as start stop VM so I'm going to make it as generally available add permission I need basically uh, compute dot instances dot stop add this add one more permission uh, basically compute dot instances dot stop or start Then I have two roles, uh, sorry, two permissions. Click on create. So we can just give this role and we should be all good. So hope I have time. I'm just checking my time. Okay, so should be all good. The custom role is created. I'll just go back. Go back to that service account, which is uh, usually Google Managed Service Account. I'll just give that role that additional role so that we can do it. So you can use basically compute instance admin that is also going to work. But if you want to use principle of least privilege, you can do this. So good, I have added it. Now I have to go back to my virtual machine, make sure that schedule is configured completely because it throwed an error that you don't have, uh, this service account should have this role or uh, permission basically. So let me add it back. So now it should not show the error message. So let me just see. Yes, it is added. Now time to see, run this command. So I'm just going to run this command. So just to see when it's going to stop basically. And I can go back. So everything is running currently. So it's running. So the time now is 53. So we need to wait for two minutes more or one minute more. Uh, by the time uh, we wait for a minute, I wanted to show you something. So this is the, uh, the documentation which mentions everything about how things works. Um, so one of the limitations which they mention is scheduled VM will ma scheduled VM instance might take up to 15 minutes past the scheduled time to begin start or stop operation. Meaning our uh, scheduled uh, stuff, if you see, basically it is at uh, 9.55 50, 50, in our time. So I had to wait maybe till 10.10 10 maximum for VM to uh, stop basically. So I'm running this in a watch mode so that we can see whether it's really going or not. So it's going to take maximum 15 minutes to do it. That's what it indicates basically. This line, that was my understanding. So it's not going to be exactly at 9.55. So remember that, uh, but that's, uh, that's okay. That's acceptable. So it's now already 9.55. So it's not yet st stopped. So what I saw is uh, it's going to take usually a minute or so. So let's just wait for it to come up. Uh, and by the time this comes up also, right, uh, we can also see the activity page. So if I just go to one more screen and open up my console basically and go to the activity page, you will also come to know when it is uh, getting shut down. So who shut down? What is the service account? Everything is going to be captured. So let me just go to the activity page. And let's look at the last activity. The last activity should be something like a VM created. This VM was created. That should be the last activity it should show. Yes, at nine, uh, okay. Last activity was we created a role and added the role. So that's the last activity. So let's wait. So the time now is 56. 
I may expect it to stop. We are running the status in two stops, one in the UI, one in the ter terminal. Let's just wait. So if everything goes fine, what we should see is something like 956 or 957, uh, the VM was shut down by the service account for which we gave the access. It should show that. So let's just wait. So, and we have seen everything. It's going to be taking maximum 15 minutes, but I'm not going to keep you waiting for 15 minutes. Let's guess, give uh, one more minute. And if it works, it's going to be really good. Uh, otherwise, I have to stop the video and show the logs, basically. What's the last log? At least from the log, you'll come to know, yes, it was stopped at so-and-so time. So, and this is really a cool feature, I would say, because uh, I have seen uh, usually people write this implementation or do this implementation using cloud functions and a scheduler, cloud scheduler. Both are serverless. You can do that. But the only thing is that you need to write a code, a piece of code there. Uh, but here it's fully managed. So uh, really a cool feature, I would say. So I guess I have to stop the recording. Let's just wait one last minute. So maybe uh, to serve the silence. So if you see, I had tried it before, uh, something like uh, I had tried it. It showed it was basically uh, it stopped the stuff. Uh, yes, this was the one. So where I had seen, I had scheduled at 9, 9. So 9, 8, it 9, 9, it's scheduled to stop. So here it's not working, uh, but should take maximum by 10, 10, it should work. So I guess we have waited for a longer time. So three more, uh, three minutes we have waited. It's not triggered. So I'm just going to pause the video. The moment it starts shutting down, I'll make sure I'll start it. All right. Uh, the time is now around 10, 7. You see the VM is getting stopped. Beautiful. So the documentation goes in sync. And good that I was able to show you that. So the patience really worked. Uh, it's terminated. So if I just refresh this, I should see the VM is terminated. As a last part, if we just go to our activity page and refresh it, you should see at 10.7, as I mentioned, the time is now around 10.7, 10.8. It shows 10.7, so the initiation started, stop. And this is the same service account to which we gave the specific role, two permissions, the custom role, and which had two permissions compute instances dot stop and start. So that worked really fine. So the only drawback which I feel was it was not on that exact time, uh, but uh, 15 minutes is a grace period which you have to give as per the thing. And they have also mentioned if you want to stop it exactly by that time, make sure, for example, 10 o'clock you want to stop it, make sure you start it at 9.45 itself, the scheduled time, so that by 10 it's going to stop it. So that's the beauty there. So without do you doing a, writing a code in cloud functions or cloud run and scheduling it in uh, using cloud scheduler, you can do this. I myself have seen many people asking me, is there an option during the training? Now you get an inbuilt feature. So that's the video which I wanted to share today, folks. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.